you much. Also new at six, Sandra Tycho's family has been waiting two and a half years for justice. She was beaten and strangled in October of 2010. The trial started yesterday, but the suspect's bizarre behavior is now taking center stage. Yona Gavino is live in her scene with the latest. Yona. Right, that's absolutely correct, Carol. We are here, and the suspect in this case is a man named Wilbur Thomas. While I was in court the whole day, he was well behaved, even quiet. Now, he didn't say or do anything much, but it was a much different story in court yesterday. Wilbur Thomas sat in a wheelchair in court today, listening to the case against him. Monday, a much different story. He refused to even open his eyes in court and had to be strapped down in a chair with a spit guard around his head. Thomas is refusing to eat, refusing to take his medication, and doesn't want to take part in his own trial. Floyd Schneider has known Wilbur Thomas for the last eight years. He was a close personal friend. And what's your reaction when you found out that he was accused of this? Total shock and disbelief. I didn't believe he did anything like this. The murder of Sandra Tykow shocked her family. The Good Samaritan was known for her acts of kindness. The day she died, she was handing out quarters to people in need at a Racine laundromat. The trial is very emotional for Tykow's family. They weren't up to speaking in court, but they were listening to the testimony while three deputies kept an eye on Thomas. Friends state his behavior is unpredictable. And it doesn't surprise me that he would play games like this. Thomas has been in court six times since the murder to decide whether he's competent enough to stand trial. Even doctors reports state that Thomas is trying to make himself sick in hopes that a judge will declare him mentally unstable. What was he like when you did know him for these past eight years? Well, there's like a brother to me. He was like a family member. He was better than my own family. He was like a brother for me. Now, sheriff's deputies are keeping a very close eye on Thomas's behavior. If there are no other problems, the trial is expected to wrap up by next week, Monday. Live in Racine, Yona Gavino, today's TMJ4. It's got to be difficult for the family. Thank you very much, Yona. A deadly fire broke.